welcome to my channel today i'll be showing you how i made this delicious meat stew sauce or mince meat stew and without wasting any time let's get started i'll be using one large onion tomato puree you can use whole tomatoes as well and uh, a teaspoon of tomato paste but it's optional coriander leaves and spices i'm using a teaspoon paprika a teaspoon garam masala teaspoon cumin three bay leaves oregano a teaspoon half a teaspoon black pepper green bell peppers a teaspoon of garlic and half a teaspoon of ginger and of course my minced meat and tomato paste is optional oregano is optional as well but i love it especially when i'm having my mint sauce with spaghetti and bay leaves add such a beautiful flavor so it's optional if you do not have it and sometimes i add some royco to my beef or sometimes i add some beef cubes so you can always play around with your favorite spices so add in your meat to your pot sufuria or pan and sweat the mints so i added a little bit of salt to flavor the meat as it cooks Because you do not want to have a meat that is tasteless but the stew is flavored so it's important to build your flavors um, bits by bits so that the meat is also flavored so continue continue to sweat the mince until the liquid part of it is evaporated as you can see I've remained with the oil in it so i'm not going to add any oil to it but if you have dry mince then you can add a little bit of oil then go ahead to add in your onions and fry them then add in the garlic and ginger paste So this is the point where I go ahead to add in my spices so that the meat can soak in the flavor from the spices. Remember the bay leaves, you will take them out once your stew is uh, cooked. So just stir that and let it cook and soak all that beautiful flavor. Remember you can add some Royco or beef cubes if you want to. next this is the point where you add in your tomato paste cooking your tomato paste first helps to remove that strong taste that it usually has so you can see i'm doing it at the center of my pan and tomato paste is always optional but i just use it to add more color to my sauce Now that the tomato paste is done, I'm going to add in my green bell peppers. Just stir that as well. So if I'm using whole tomatoes, I usually add the whole tomatoes first because they'll take longer to cook. But since I have pureed tomatoes, it's pretty fast. So next I'll just add in my pureed tomatoes. And just mix that remember I already sweat uh, my mince so it's pretty much cooked so next I'm going to add a little bit of water to my minced meat 
for the stew and of course for the meat and the spices to cook really well and add the uh, water according to your preference I do not like runny stew so I just added a little bit of water to it so cover your minced meat sauce and let it simmer keep stirring and at this point you can check if your stew is um, has enough salt so if it's not salt enough you can add some but since I added some on my meat it was enough so I did not add any salt so you can see the water has simmered down and the stew is to my liking or to my uh, the thickness that I like it's not too watery and it's not too thick finally add your coriander and your meat is ready to serve you can go ahead to take your bay leaves and I served mine with some spaghetti you can have it with some rice I usually enjoy it with some chapati and cabbage as well so you can always have it with uh, what you prefer and there you have it you can see how colorful it is it tastes so delicious and this aroma is just amazing I really hope you did enjoy this recipe. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't. And I will see you on my next one. Till next time, bye bye.